In a Zurich boutique, though, she expressed interest in a £25,000 handbag, only to be told by the shop assistant that it was too expensive for her. The star says she's the victim of racism. As Imogen Fuchs now reports, the shop says it was all a misunderstanding. Zurich's most exclusive street, its most exclusive shops, and the perfect customer. The TV presenter Oprah Winfrey was in town for her friend Tina Turner's wedding, and she wanted to buy a handbag to take to Tina's big day. And she, she, she refused to get it. She refused to get it. And she started to show me these other little bags, and um, I said, uh, one more time I tried, I said, but I really do just, just really want to see that one. And she said, oh, I don't, I don't want to, to hurt your feelings. And I said, okay, thank you so much. You're probably right. You can't afford it. And I walked out of the store. Now, why does she do that? I want to buy it. Today, the shop owner told to the BBC know. this wasn't racism. And she's got a message for Oprah. Well, I would take you in my arms and would kiss you and apologize and tell me really it, it was a misunderstanding and please forgive me and give Switzerland the chance. Oprah Winfrey is influential and very rich. Estimated personal wealth almost three billion dollars. Although her daily talk show ended in 2011, her TV network earned her 77 million dollars last year alone. She could have bought the entire shop not just the £25,000 bag she had her eye on. But Opera's story, already being dubbed Handbag Gate in the Swiss media, comes at a very awkward time. Immigration is a hot political issue here. New rules are being introduced for asylum seekers. Rules human rights groups claim verge on apartheid. In this town close to Zurich, asylum seekers are now banned from using the public swimming pool and sports fields. Switzerland is a small country and has a tradition of welcoming immigrants and refugees, but 25% of its 8 million people are now foreign, and discrimination is becoming a problem. The debate over immigration and discrimination in Switzerland will continue. Meanwhile, one embarrassed shop owner in Zurich is hoping Oprah might just pop by for a hug. Imogen Folks, BBC News, Switzerland.